everybody welcome back it is friday and that means we're doing a featured friday if you're new to let's go geo i'm heather your geo guide and i take you on virtual geo excursions sometimes they're longer excursions but on fridays we do a little shorter bit and that is i show you something in the field uh, or a hand sample of a fossil or a rock or mineral or something and you get the fun to kind of test yourself and try to guess what it is. So today's featured Friday is within this rock material here. I am out in the field and some beautiful views, pretty middle of nowhere. I've been hiking around uh, and looking for something specific that I expected to find in these rock units. Uh, but I've had to put on a lot of miles before I finally found it, and, and this is what I found, and this is your featured Friday today. So it's within this volcanic rock, and if you look there, there are some crystals, and I have a couple different ones to show you. Uh, that one's, those are a little um, stained, so how about um, these guys right here? So here's the crystals, and they're kind of small, as you can see, hopefully. They are clear, mostly clear. Uh, many of them are rather transparent and they're cubic in shape. So this is our featured Friday today. Um, let me set that down and see if I can get a little better view for you there. Give me one second. I'll zoom in a bit, there we go. So there's those crystals a little closer. There, that's what I was talking about. So you can see those cubic clear crystals in there. Some of them are not all cubic. They have some other shapes going on, but mostly. And like I said, a lot of the material around here is volcanic rock. So this is porphyritic, uh, felsic volcanic material that we're in right now. And that's your first hint, although that doesn't give you any everything that you need because lots of minerals form in that environment, but that's your first hint. And there, there's, I know from geologic studies of the area that there is, uh, the basement rock here are carbonates, actually Paleozoic carbonates. And there is some interaction going on between these various rock units, the latter volcanic stuff, hydrothermal activity, and those older carbonates. So this stuff, if you, let's see if we have any other, larger ones. Those are some of the best. There's some more, there's a crystal here I just found. There you go. Check that one out. So one mineral that can look kind of cubic and, and can be this transparent look is calcite. But calcite's technically uh, in, mostly in rhombohedrons, which is different. It's, uh, you can think of it as kind of slanted. You can kind of see in that cavity there. Check that out. That's pretty cool. There's a couple of nice, almost perfect cubes. So as opposed to calcite, which some some of the forms you'll find in calcite can look kind of cubic, um, but they, yeah, they, they just can look that way. And that, that's why they can be confused with this mineral. But that's, a, that's another hint there. This is not calcite. So take that as a fun hint. But I can tell you that in addition to sharing the the somewhat similar shape like i said it's different but somewhat similar shape and being clear like little pieces of ice almost they look like ice cubes um they also share some chemical similarities they're not identical but there's a shared chemical element in their formula so there's another hint for you okay yeah i like this one this is pretty cool i like that little cavity there I'll set that up there I'll try not to let it fall maybe here instead there we go. Um, we'll just kind of rummage through here and see what else we can find. Here's back to this one. This one still has some, some cute little cubes. They're small. So let's look at this one. Uh, what else can I tell you without giving it away? So I've told you the environment and I gave you a hint that we don't have calcite. This is also, this is not quartz. Uh, this wouldn't be a common form for quartz in this cubic style. So I'll let that be another hint. And now I'll just go ahead and tell you what we have here today. So this is actually the mineral fluorite. 
and it's a little new here. I haven't done a whole bit on fluorite, but I do plan to. So if you're interested in learning more about fluorite, stay tuned for that. I'll talk more. It's a very interesting mineral. It has some unique special properties to it and some interesting history. Um, and yeah, it's pretty common to come in this cubic form, although it can form octahedrons, dodecahedrons, stuff like that. So it has some cool forms. Uh, you'll see a little bit in this, like a, well, that's not the best piece. Um, there's some purplish tinge in some of them, and that's also common. It doesn't come out great, but there's some purplish tinge. And that purple, green, uh, fluorite comes in a lot of different colors. That's one thing that's very interesting about it. You can find it in purples and greens, but you can also find it with yellowish or amber-like tinges, pinkish, um, sometimes multiple colors in the same uh, piece that you find, almost like a little gradient. So a very interesting and beautiful mineral here today that I am having the joy of collecting and putting on the miles, so yeah. Hopefully you guys got to uh, got to take a guess there at that. If you're interested in some more Featured Fridays, then check out the Featured Friday playlist and you can try your hand at guessing at some more minerals. And like I said, if you want to learn about the minerals in more detail, go to the Minerals playlist where I do a whole bit on each individual mineral. There it is in there. Very nice. There's a little bit of interesting stuff going on there. This is in combination here. I found it with the quartz and calcite, so pretty cool formation here. Uh, a little different. It's not always in volcanic rock, but in this case it is. We'll talk more about that in the upcoming video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next Geo Adventure here at Let's Go Geo.